Hi everyone, here I am with Tom. Hello mate, you alright? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks Andy, how are you? We, we need to check in on the weather. Uh, weather report, looking out the window at the minute, it's grey, windy, it's Manchester still. Oh, right. it's not It's not that, that typhoon Ian or whatever it is. So, so we're, uh... I mean, there's a permanent typhoon in Manchester. <laughs> 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 Today, we're talking about um, trainers. Well, not really trainers, more Converse, and then we're going to get onto these. Um, you've got some interesting, well, take us through it, Tom. I mean, there's some pictures going to come up on the screen. Tom, talk us through some of those pictures. Yeah, so when you first showed me that you were going to be doing these straight away, my mind, as always, goes straight to Ivy. I thought it was a proper Ivy look. Um, but there's something really American about these shoes, I think. You can see on here, you've got like Anthony Perkins, who played Norman Bates and Psycho, wearing a pair. You've got George Harrison wearing a pair. You've got English, of course. But like, I think it's very much a kind of American thing. You used to see kind of pictures of kind of teenagers in the 50s and 60s wearing trainers like these. And it's a really cool look. And I think they'd go great with like one of your high neck t-shirts. It's a very much a kind of kids in America look, I think, very 50s and 60s. Almost yeah. kind of hot rod as well. Kind of like American graffiti style, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. I think that's, um, I mean, when I think about them, that I think that's perhaps why I like them. But as we saw in the picture there, there and I think Rhea can throw the picture back up for us, when it goes through, it's interesting. I was thinking about all the ages where these could have been popular. I think the style would have changed, i.e. the shape. Mm. But it's interesting if you like right through loads, right till you get to say like Gene and Britpop, which is not the newest, but like Acid Jazz, I can imagine every single one of those bands wearing a pair of these and not yeah. not batting an eyelid. It, it, they, it seems to be a cross genre kind of shoe. Would you agree with Definitely. that? Definitely. And one I, I hadn't thought of until I just saw it up on screen then was Mother Earth. Like the chord is so kind of 90s acid jazz, isn't it? Like that yeah. people trip over there. I can imagine Matt Dayton wearing a pair of them. And uh, yeah, they're very much of that era too, I think. Yeah, totally. Well, obviously, the, the, the Daytons comes from Matthew Dayton, and that's why, why, why we had them. Uh, um, let's go on to pick number two. Um, now, some people controversially say these days, can you wear uh, trainers with, shoe, uh, with suits? Now, on the screen now, you can see one of the most iconic images of all time, which is the, the famous Abbey Road one, which has been mimicked by everyone. And on the front is John in a pair of white plimsolls. And I'm assuming they're plimsolls, but I think you know a bit more about that, don't you? Yeah, so he's wearing a brand called Spring Courts, which is still about today. Um, I think they're a French brand, if I don't... I might be wrong, but I think they're, I'm pretty sure they're a French brand. But I think... There's something very European in them wearing a pair of trainers with a suit. And I think it depends on what suit you're wearing and what pair of trainers you're wearing. And I think it's more the kind of, in my mind anyway, the more of the plimsoll kind of pump style trainer goes better than, I don't know, you wouldn't wear like a, a bowling shoe or a bowling kind of trainer. or No, you wouldn't wear a high top, would you? You're not like some right. of the high tops, yeah. some of those really big ones. But you see quite a few of like the Italian and Spanish football managers. They seem to pull that look off. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. It, it's definitely a thing like you, I think to make it look good, you need to make it look almost what people would term like a kind of retro rather than modern. I think when you put a pair of like kind of modern looking trainers with it, you do look a bit, you're on your way to court and you forgot to go and buy your <laughs> pair of or something like that. <laughs> you're on your way to court. The only reason somebody might be wearing a suit is because they're on the way to court. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I think it's a fair, I think there's some, yeah, I, I think... So sometimes it pulls, it looks well, and sometimes it doesn't. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's an arguable one, that. It's, uh, um, so one of the things as well is when do trainers, when, when, more importantly like these, where do they start becoming shoes? Do you have any views on that? I think it's all to do with the soul. I was trying, when I saw the, the script earlier, I was trying to think of this. And I think, in my head, I think it's to do with the soul. I think once, once you, that's the difference between a smart shoe and a, a kind of more of a less formal kind of, casual shoe i think because you it's like a desert boot for instance you can get more of a you can put a leather sole on a desert boot if you wanted to yeah yeah I've, I've had before in the past or you can have kind of a big kind of chuck a gum sole and i think that's the difference obviously that's not a trainer but that it's just more of a, a casual and a kind of formal thing i think yeah it's, like, it's, i think you're right i think it's i think it's a subtle a subtle thing isn't it i mean we're going to go yeah. on to do, do some close-ups about these in a minute but it, yeah, it's interesting, you know, like I was pondering about when we we're going to talk about styling, you could dress this up, you could dress this down. Do, do you know what I mean? So Definitely. one fun thing, though, these are called 
Mateos or Matios. So, um, you got any particular views on the word? Is it scone scone? I'm going to leave that for an argument at Modchu's HQ. If I oh. weigh in on that, this could be my last video. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason Tom's ducking that question is me and my wife have been, I've been saying Matteo all day, and my wife's been saying Matteo all day. I'm pretty certain. So, uh, uh, we're going my to. My dad, in. who's from the East End, would say Matteo. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> very good now let's have a, a quick look at um we do a bit of a close-up i don't know if Rhea's got that on the screen um these are lovely i've had them on my feet for a couple of days now you've got have you got yours on tom or have you been wearing them, I haven't got them on. i've got them right here all right any any views on them i mean what do you you, you know on? off the top when i first saw the picture i thought these would be kind of like my go-to, my favourites. But now I've seen the blue in person. That blue is gorgeous, isn't it? What yeah. did you? Any reason for you choosing the blue, or was it kind of just like the colour? I won't pop? lie. We didn't choose the blue. They had that right. blue. <laughs> I mean, it's lovely. Really yeah, it's nice. nice. I think. And I was thinking of all the things like you can pair it with. There's a lot more than you think. I think. Like I wore a check shirt yesterday, and it had a bit of blue in it, a bit of a blue flash, and it just subtly went so well with them them pumps. I mean, like. I normally wear kind of, I'm more towards like the Ivy persuasion, and I think they're really very much an Ivy shoe, I think. Yeah, I Almost think like so. Almost like bump you'd see them wearing around. I think we got lucky. I mean, um, they sent them with the black uh, sole. We were thinking like beige initially, but I think going into winter, I think that the, the black sole is actually going to be better. Do, do Definitely, yeah, there's loads of people that do the, the beige ones, aren't there? That's what makes it a little different as well, I think. And they look good. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, what else do I need to think of? I just wanted to quickly touch on what, what to wear them with. Um, I mean, I mean, I would argue that you could wear it, dare I say, it, with like the Cabici Elroy and that, and a pair of jeans. It's a nice look. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, but then equally, um, I'm thinking we've got this John Lennon shirt coming out. The blues are not a mild, but jeans on a Sunday afternoon, uh, Saturday. But like this particular one, the Grand Coxon one, which I've just been with, I'm not doing a very good job of showing it, but you put that, let me see if I can put that up and hold that at the same time. You know, that yeah, and a pair so of jeans. It's a Britpop look, that, isn't it? That's straight out the night, is that? Well, it's this really... is what I was trying to say, Tom. I was thinking, this is what I was saying with, when I was thinking about it. Are they really a, a genre shoe? They're not. They, they mm -hmm. cross so many genres. So, yeah. um, very good. Anyway, that's enough about them. They're going to be on the website soon. Well, tomorrow. So, most people watching this video is probably is well gone by now. Um, Tom. Thanks for helping as usual. No problem, thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, there's lots more on the website. Just go to www.modshoes. And thanks for watching. See you next time.